Hello, my name is Ray Lopez, and I'm an adjunct uh, professor at the Texas A&M University, San Antonio, in the Department of Science and Math, teaching in psychology. And I'd like to show you briefly how to use the Blackboard Ultra Collaboration Tools to deliver a live lecture session to students watching on their computers. So, of course, we're going to go to visit the Blackboard site at tamusa.blackboard.com. Uh, we see the familiar login screen. Go ahead and click login. Put in your username and password and click login. Once you're in, uh, you'll see the familiar uh, opening screen with all the courses that you're teaching. Go ahead and select uh, the course that you want to deliver the lecture in. Uh, the example I'm going to select here is for my general psychology course that I'm teaching this uh, semester. And of course, you see the um, instructor view for your course. And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're going to go here to course tools. And under course tools, you're going to find the entry in this long, awful list. You're going to find the entry for Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. So go ahead and click on that guy. And it's going to open up this screen here. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to, the first thing you want to do, and you're probably not going to see these entries here. These are like test sessions I created to make sure I could do this. <laughs> you probably won't see anything here. Um, but the first thing you're going to want to do is hit create session. And this is how you go ahead and start um, um, defining a lecture session that you want to give. So you go ahead and hit create session. And you essentially what you're doing is you're scheduling an appointment with the with the system. First thing you want to do is enter in a name for the session. So maybe you want to put the uh, course identifier uh, 2301 lecture for um, 11 March. There you go. That can literally be anything. Um, there's an entry here for anonymous dial in. You can actually copy this number by clicking on this little copy icon here and paste it into an email message, uh, that you can send to your students. Um, this anonymous dial in will allow people to dial in anonymously. So they'll show up as anonymous entries in the list of participants. Uh, typically you don't want them doing that. Typically you want them actually logging into blackboard and then, um, going into uh, going into a, uh, a session. Um, however, what, uh, um, what you're going to do, it, I would strongly recommend that you leave this, uh, available to them because, uh, if they, for some reason can't use the internet, uh, to access your lecture, uh, they can at least dial in with their cell phones, uh, and dial in as participants. So they can do that. Um, also, there's also a link here to as a for a guest uh, access for a participant. So you can allow that or disallow that however you want. And you can provide that link as well. Uh, you can leave that on or off. Um, if you want to make sure that your students dial in as themselves or, or log in as themselves, you can turn that off. Uh, but definitely leave this anonymous dial in there so just so that because uh, you never know. Uh, notice here that uh, while I'm going to start this session right now, um, you can actually schedule it for later. Um, so you can set up all of your lectures ahead of time and, and, and build those out and, and, let, uh, and let your students know. Uh, and we'll, we'll show you how to do that here in just a bit. Um, you can also set the start and end time. You can also repeat it so you can have a weekly lectures. Uh, also early entry, this, uh, allows the server to start letting people in a certain amount of time before the lecture starts strongly advise you to leave this at least 15 minutes. That way people can log in and make sure that, uh, their, uh, their machine is working correctly. Um, you can also have, uh, different, uh, session settings, which you, uh, you really don't, you know, you really don't need this, but, uh, it's useful to know. Uh, participants can share audio and video. Uh, obviously you want them to be able to ask questions and you want to see them, I guess. <laughs> if you don't want to see them, you can turn that off. Um, you can also, uh, you can also record the session. Then you can also allow recording downloads and you can also anonymize the chat messages, which I'll show you the chat window. Once we get into the session, you probably don't want to do that because, uh, 
as you know, anonymity on the internet breeds, uh, you know, not so good behavior. So you probably want to make sure that they can't post anonymous messages because you never know. Um, here's all the permissions that you can give them to do. You can turn these off if you want, for example, whiteboards. If you don't use whiteboards, uh, you can turn those off if you don't uh, want them to post any chat messages, which I wouldn't recommend. You can turn that off as well. So once you've got your session defined, you go ahead and click save. And there it is right there, the one I just created. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that session to go into it and uh, go ahead and click join session. And it connects you to the server, opens up a, uh, a client connecting to the server. Um, and the first thing you're going to see is all these warnings uh, where the browser is asking you to connect to your hardware, namely to your microphone and to your screen and to your, uh, uh, and to your uh, um, uh, video camera. So first we're going to allow uh, connection to the microphone. Go ahead and say allow. And then we say, and we, uh, we're going to go ahead and share, um, whoops, we're going to go say allow. There we go. Oh, hello. Allow. There we go. And now I've got permission to share my mic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, um, unmute my mic and, un and share video. So now that I'm sharing my video, it's going to ask me, can I use your camera? And you say, sure thing. So you say, allow. Now, with regard to your video and your audio, um, I would strongly recommend you use um, at least a headset with, uh, uh, with, um, uh, with, with a microphone because it just sounds better. Uh, as you can see, I'm using a professional quality microphone because I kind of do this for a living. But um, strongly recommend you use a headset uh, because it'll just sound better than the cheap little microphone that's built into the laptop uh, that you might be using. The camera's okay. You can use the camera that is uh, that comes with your with your with your uh, computer. Camera quality is not that divergent. Uh, going from like a, a, a external camera to the built-in one, they're roughly the same. Um, but definitely if you can use a headset microphone to avoid the, uh, to get a better sound quality. Uh, so here's the, you get a preview of the video that you're going to share. So you can go ahead and hit share video and you see yourself down here at the very bottom. That's the way you look to everybody. Um, a couple of things that you see here. Uh, if you, if you log in for the first time, you'll get like a little tutorial that takes you to these different spots here. Let me show you real quick. It'll take you here to the session menu. Uh, in the session menu, you can start recording. Uh, you can also use your phone for audio. So if you want to, instead of using the internet, uh, use your phone, you can dial in and it'll uh, give you a number to do that. Um, you can close that by hitting the X. If you scoot over here to the other side, you can open the chat window. And this is actually the collaboration area where you share not only uh, chat messages, but also content. And then finally down here at the bottom, as you saw before, you have the uh, little button to, to, to mute yourself. As well as the button to turn off your camera, turn on and off your camera. So, and every time you do that, you, if you, unless you hit remember decision here, you have to allow, right? So share video. Um, I'm using the Firefox browser on a Macintosh platform. So just in case, uh, <laughs> in case you're wondering, but it should look the same for everybody. Now, once you're in and once you've sort of like acclimated, uh, to yourself, to the interface, the next thing you want to do is just take a look at the chat window. This is where everybody's going to show up. All of your, uh, students should show up here on this list. Uh, and they can also type messages to you and or to each other. Um, so while you're lecturing, you might want to keep this window open so that you can see the, any flow of messages that are coming to you questions, question wise. So they can either type that or they can ask it, uh, by rate, by clicking the little raising their hand icon here. And then you can like click on their, uh, uh, click on their name and, uh, and have them ask their question. Um, after you've got all this, the next thing you want to do, if you're using slides, if you're sharing slides or sharing uh, your browser to do your lecture, 
The next thing you want to do is you want to come down here to this little icon to share content. And I would strongly recommend that you just share application screen. So do that. And go ahead and share um, your entire screen. So when this little window comes up, go ahead and click on share entire screen. This will allow you to not, you know, to not have to worry about sharing different applications. You can just, you know, basically you're just showing them what's on your screen. Obviously, you want to make sure you have any like, uh, uh, confidential information. If you have any confidential inf information that you had on your screen, make sure you take it off before you do this. Cause, uh, if it's there, it will get shown. So go ahead and click allow, and this will allow the browser to access your screen. So now you should be sharing your screen with your students. And what you want to ask is, Hey, can you all see my screen? And they'll say yes. And at that point, you can go ahead and go over to your, um, to your slides or to whatever content you want to share and go ahead and start uh, sharing that content. And that content will actually be uh, projected to everyone uh, that is watching the, the, uh, the webcast, um, go ahead and start your lecture going through your slides or go going through any websites that you happen to be using. Um, get, you know, you'll get any, uh, you'll get any questions. If you, if somebody clicks their little raise hand thing here, um, it it'll show up, uh, it'll show up on your screen as somebody with their, uh, with their hand raised and you can go ahead and click on their name and, uh, It'll show up like that. You'll see that you'll see a little icon there that says hand raised. You can go ahead and click on them and uh, get their question. And then if the, once once they're done, they can lower their hand and they're done. Um, while you're doing your uh, lecture, you you need to click on this little uh, gear here to change your settings. You can adjust your uh, the volume of your of your uh, headset. You can uh, switch to your phone for audio. Uh, you can uh, set up your camera and microphone if something goes wrong. Uh, lots of different things that you can uh, get to here. Uh, notification settings, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you get a little uh, pop-up notification and audio notification if somebody raises their hand. Um, lots of little, lots of different settings here. Finally, let's take a look now at how you actually get your students into this thing. Uh, so you, you know, you set up a session. Great. Now let's get them in. So let's go ahead and go back to the sessions and let's set up a future session. Let's say you want to lecture next week. So we're going to create session and you're going to, we're going to say future lecture. I'm going to call it that. I'm going to set it for uh, a week from today. And it's going to last an hour. So we'll set it for, um, I usually lecture at night. So let's, uh, I'll do 5 uh, p.m. Just for grins, 5 p.m. And it will, uh, let's see. And then it will end at 6 p.m. Let's do a 6 p.m. This uh, time selector thing isn't the smartest one I've ever used, but <laughs> as you can see, but so we'll do 6 p.m. Oops, wrong way. Let's go back. There we go. 6 p.m. So starting a week from today, uh, from 5 to 6 p.m., early entry is okay. I'm going to save that guy. And you're like, wow, okay, so there's my future lecture. What do I do with it now? Well, which one of the things that you can do is you can go ahead and go to course content. And you can go ahead and give, um, give them access to the future lecture by adding a link to it here in the course content. So. If you go to tools, you go to more tools and there's blackboard collaborate ultra. There it is right there. Uh, you can say available. Yes. And you can give it a link description here if you want. 
and then hit submit. And what that does is it puts it um, right there on the screen for your students. So if you want to go to uh, to student preview real quick, see what it looks like to the students. Let's take a look at the course content. And there's the Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. They click on that. And they will see all of the different sessions that are here. And if they, anything's in progress, they'll see it here. And uh, this one's not yet started. But when, it, when the time rolls around uh, 15 minutes prior, as a matter of fact, they can go ahead and click on this lecture and enter into the, uh, into the session by just clicking on the Join Session, like so. And it'll open them up just like that. And they'll, of course, have to go through all the process of allowing uh, permission for use of their microphone and their camera. Uh, but that's the way it'll work, and they'll see uh, basically uh, almost the same thing that you're seeing uh, when you first join in, and then they'll also be able to see your screen as you're sharing it with them. So I hope this helps, and uh, good luck, and hopefully we won't have to be doing this too much, but uh, if the time rolls around where we do have to deliver um, remote sessions, uh, you can say you're a little bit better prepared. Take care.